All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to throw a throw bag over whatever object you want to bring a rope over. Um, this is a throw bag, this is a throw line. It's a slick line. And I've tied it with a simple clove hitch. There are other knots you can use and I've made a video on that if you wanna check that out. But today I've used a clove hitch just for simplicity. Um, my throw line is in a cube, which I highly recommend. Um, if you don't have a cube, you can use a five gallon bucket or a laundry basket, whatever you have. But uh, use something because if this line is in amongst all these leaves and twigs, and it's going to pick them up and it's going to make your shots go bad. Okay? But use something. All right. Now, to get this prepped, in order to throw, I'm going to take a bite and stick it through the ring. And that's going to form a side, which I can pinch slightly. Over here, I can do the same thing. And I can throw just like this, if I wanted to. Or, what I prefer to do is to form a slip knot, which gives me... place for my other finger okay and we want to center the weight between the, the two and then we're ready to throw now we're gonna be throwing underhanded and we're just gonna be swinging just like this and we want to pick our target out um, this is a big white oak tree so I'm gonna go for a higher branch than what I could throw just a regular rope through so I've got a target picked out. Let's see if I can't hit it. So I'm going to swing it between my legs and up. And remember to use your legs and look at your target as you throw. It'll help with your accuracy. So let's see if I can't hit this. Oh, so close. All right. I missed it, which is typical. I was very close, but it bounced off a limb. So, just to show you how quickly you can try it again, we want to reload it in our cube. And let's bring our weight back to us. Okay, when it's hung up on a branch, be careful pulling down, because it may hit you in the head. And once it's on the ground, finish loading your cube. And you know, once you practice this enough, you can be ready to throw again well under a minute. Okay, so I got our weight back. Let's reload it. Let's form our slip knot, and then we're ready to throw again. Okay, let's try this again. All right. That time I hit my mark. Now that we have our throw line over our object, we want to raise our weight back up and because what happens is it catches on other limbs and we want to isolate to the part we want to go over. So I, you may not be able to see that, but it needs to come way in. There we go. All right, let's... A lot of times you'll catch two or three limbs and what you want to do is pull that weight over the far limb so you can isolate. But you, there we go. There, all right, perfect. 
Okay. Now, once it's over the limb, hopefully you can see what I just did. I isolated it to the limb I wanted. You want to come over here, find your weight, and then grab it, bring it back. Okay, now we can untie this and don't lose it because it wants it'll want to swing back we can put that down <clears throat> and we want to get our rope and we want to hoist our rope over that limb we just shot so what i'll do is i'll just form i have a video on this too how to tie this line to the rope in it let's try that again okay I'm gonna form a clove hitch okay now what's very important about this step is we've done all this hard work to get this line over that limb we don't want to lose it at this point so make sure that knot is tight and then we want to form a half hitch about halfway up Tighten it in, form another half hitch close to the tip. Tighten it again, down, okay? So now I have my throw line tied to my real rope that I wanna climb, okay? So we'll grab our rope bag to minimize drag, put it down there. And now we'll grab the other end of our throw line and we're gonna bring that rope up over that limb all right hopefully you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna bring that rope down to me okay so at this point I can loosen my clove hitch and just slide the whole thing off. All right, now, if I come over here, I've got I've got my rope around the, the tree, and I can take this in and tie it off to an anchor somewhere, and then I can climb this strand right here straight up to the, the top of that tree. Okay, all right. That, uh, that finishes this video, and hopefully uh, it helps you get a line high up in the tree. I'll see you on the next one.